Anish Giri. The Unbeaten? Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I will show you one game that I played against one of the best chess players in history, Grandmaster Anish Giri from the Netherlands. And before I will show you the moves and the game, I really want to tell you some story about Anish Giri. You know, his peak rating was 2798 in October 2015. So it's unbelievable. His peak rating, you know, it was number three in the world only eight years ago. So he was five times the Dutch champion. And also, you know, he became grandmaster at age of 14 and seven months. It's just amazing. You know, to comparison between me and him, it's just can't be, right? He's much more stronger than me um, he became grandmaster in 14 years and i was like i think 18 or 19 maybe i'm not sure so it just you know amazing one of the best players in history but i had the chance to play against him and now i will show you the game this game was played let's see let's see let's see how much time ago so wow four years ago wow Cannot believe it. So I played against him with the black pieces and let's see the game. So d4, d5, c4, c6. As you already know from my YouTube channel, I'm playing the Slav defense and I really like it. So let's learn about it. Knight f3, knight f6, e3, and now black has some options. a6, maybe e6, bishop f5, like I played, maybe g6. So in this game I played the move bishop f5, also I really like to play e6 here because after knight c3 you're playing the move knight b to d7 and this is the semi slav defense with some around bishop d3, takes takes, b5, bishop d3, bishop d6, after e4, e5 and you're playing like bishop b7, a6, c5, this is your point here, the plan. But it's very very tactic opening and it's very nice. Uh, to see I must tell you guys that I upload I think one video about the Slav defense that I showed there a very interesting game uh, with the black pieces so you can just learn and improve your skills in Slav defense so I played the move bishop to f5 my point is just developing a bishop and after it I really want to play the move e6 knight bd7 and bishop d6 so he played the move knight c3, of course, everything here is a theory, e6, knight h4, the point is that the bishop is under attack here and white will really like um, to have the two bishops. So bishop e4 I'm playing, f3, and bishop g6. For example, after knight takes e4, it's not so good for white because I will take with d, d takes e4 and this knight on h4 is really feels bad, right? g5 is, oh sorry, g5 is a threat and you know, this knight will be not so good here g3 for example the best move because knight will come to g2 but bishop b4 check bishop d2 just take take and c5 knight c6 and you know black is totally fine here i think just better so after bishop e4 f3 of course this is the theory and anish giri uh, know it very well bishop g6 bishop d2 another very strong move and the point is that white you know just developing a piece maybe want to play the move queen b3 maybe knight takes g6 h takes and queen c2 with long castle so it's also one of the uh, ideas for white i'm playing the move queen c7 it's very important here to understand that we we don't want uh, to develop this knight before we understand if c takes d5 will happen in the game for example, after queen c7, if c takes d5, I think the best move here is to take with c and knight c6 will uh, be the next move. So we would like to be flexible and not uh, to develop the knight first. So queen c7, rook c1 and now a6 I played. I think, you know, bishop e7 should be the best move in the position because this file a little bit feeling bad, but it's not something urgent, right? So white... Uh, is not threatening something uh, very strong so just bishop e7 and um, developing a bishop and also trying to understand what white wants to do but i play the move a6 and now c takes d5 e takes d5 
and this was apparently a little bit mistake uh, but of course it's very uh, difficult to understand why and the solution here for white is to play g4 and this is something very very strange because you know the bishop is not uh, developed and this rook didn't develop and also the king is on the center so it's not so easy to play a move like g4 when also you know that long castle will not happen right so g4 is very very strange here but it's very very strong because g5 and e4 will come next so yeah I, i'm of course i didn't understand it uh, during the game uh, also anish giri played the move g3 also makes a lot of sense here g3 just uh, covering this knight from h4 maybe bishop h3 maybe bishop g2 and also uh, think about castling bishop d6 uh, king f2 was played by anish giri i'm not sure that bishop g3 is a threat right for example i don't know bishop uh, e2 also really feels nice also bishop g2 you can play and also bishop h3 right so bishop g3 is not an option because takes takes king e2 and queen h4 of course is losing of because of bishop d7 and the queen just uh, caught so yeah king f2 very very uh, you know special move by anishigiri is telling you know what I, I don't need a castle i'm just putting the king here i have three pawns that covering this uh, king on f2 and everything is fine i'm not afraid from you nitsan so i'm playing the move knight bd7 king g2 another very calm move by anishigiri uh, i'm doing a castle knight take g6 and now i really want you to stop the video and think by yourself which from with which pawn do you think i took the knight on g6 so you know the best move in the position is to take with h takes g6 but i must say that for me also in this moment i'm really sure that f takes g6 uh, more feeling well right because i really want to open this file for the rook and it's not make sense to take with h i don't know why the computer says that h takes g6 is better but for me I, i'm totally agree with uh, f takes g6 and you know you don't need to play like computer it's something very very interesting and important to understand in chess you need to understand um you know how how do you want to play chess because if you uh, thinking about the rook on f8 of course when we are taking the knight on g6 the rook will open right so it makes a lot of sense and you know you, we are not computer and uh, we will never be like computers so let's try to play normal moves and you know with some sense so f takes g6 was played e4 banish giri i took it and played the move c5 and as i fell i felt like you know the king is under attack here the king on g2 is not feeling nice and c5 maybe queen c6 and i don't know something around for example d5 i will just play the move b5 rook a8 knight e5 knight fg4 yeah it's just amazing position maybe c4 bishop c5 it seems like i'm doing just fantastic maybe winning already so after c5 yeah it's it's not so easy for him to play but if of course he played the move e5 makes a lot of sense the best move in the position is just you know um just computer move bishop to e2 just developing a bishop without thinking about c takes d4 it's just amazing the the point is that queen b3 check king h8 and now knight b5 queen b6 takes takes and bishop b4 okay of course it's very very difficult to see such a, an incredible tactic in blitz game so he played the move e5 i sacrificed my bishop bishop takes e5 and the point was just you know i want to sacrificing a bishop and to come with this knight to e5 and this king on g2 will be very very weak so let's see what happened bishop e5 is a very very strong move by me d takes e5 knight takes e5 and now queen c6 is already very very big threat bishop e2 was played and now rook a d8 another good move by uh, by black of course i'm putting the rook uh, in the queen file and of course this bishop is pinned and it seems like yeah i'm doing really great the king on g2 is not feeling well so we play the move rook f1 bringing the rook into the game and also trying to um put the king um something around you know like just a little bit defend him so rook f1 also makes a lot of sense queen c6 and now king g1 and c4 another good move and um, you know i'm attacking here queen c5 b5 um, the white pieces are not good at all right bishop on d2 cannot 
cannot move, right? Bishop on e2, of course. Uh, also, without moves, bishop f3 just bad because of knight takes, rook takes, and rook takes d2. Queen takes and queen takes f3. So, yeah, the, the white pieces are just uh, not playing. Also, this knight cannot play anywhere because the e4 square for my knight. So, yeah, it seems like I'm doing pretty well, but Anish Giri never give up. Of course, one of the best players in the world. Uh, for me, it's an honor to play against such a strong player. Rook c2. I think very very good move because he understands that you know he needs to to improve his position and improve his pieces so the rook on c2 is doing much more uh, work than the rook on c1 i play the move h5 i think another interesting move because i really want maybe to push h4 h3 and also knight fg4 and attack the king on g1 with queen c5 queen b6 so the knight on g4 will do just a tremendous work here. So rook c2, I played rook h5, as I said, bishop f3, and now queen c5 check, king g2, and knight takes f3. I don't know, also knight fg4 looks very, very nice with attempting of knight e3, or maybe knight takes f3 and rook takes, I don't know, it's very, very complicated. Uh, but I have so many uh, ideas here to attack. But I took on f3, also makes sense. Queen takes, of course, rook takes also possible, but I think queen c6 with knight g4. And yeah, the, the white pieces are not, not good at all. So it seems like, yeah, I'm, I'm the initiative for black here without a piece. So queen, tef, queen takes f3, is play, he played knight g4, knight e4, another very strong move. And as you can see, in this position, we already had like... A half a minute for me and also he had half a minute so it's a giant trouble right queen c6 was played queen e2 and now only one move with the black pieces just winning the game and i must admit it's very very difficult to understand why and the move is just a calm move quiet move b5 improving my pawn also defending the the c4 pawn and it seems like white doesn't have a moves to play rook takes f8 just rook takes with rook f2 um check it's very very difficult for him bishop before just g5 bishop takes rook f2 and yeah it's just game over queen takes knight takes king takes queen takes e4 and black is winning so yeah in this position after queen e2 if i play the move b5 it seems like black is just uh, winning in a spot because h3 for example just knight f6 and yeah Rook f8, the next move after rook e1, of course, rook f8, the knight uh, is under attack and black just winning the game. So, yeah, the point he was that after knight f6 here, just, I don't know, queen c4 just, yeah, takes, takes, and yeah, everything is great, takes, takes, rook takes, just rook takes c4, and if king takes, just bishop b4 check, knight d6, I don't know, rook c7, white is totally fine here. Um, so yeah, queen e2, I didn't play the move b5, I took the rook on f1, king takes, now b5 I played, and now rook c1 was played by Nishgiri, h3 was a much stronger, uh, and I'm not sure what happened here, because yeah, maybe now I felt like uh, my initiative is not so strong at all, because the knight is not here anymore, and yeah, the queen is good, but the, queen, the rook on d8 is also fine. But maybe white uh, starting to you know to develop his bishop uh, his piece of pieces of course with bishop c3 bishop f4 rook d2 something around this and yeah it's not so easy so we played the move rook to c1 rook e8 was played by me as you can see it's a time trouble here rook e1 knight takes h2 queen takes rook takes c4 i'm going for it and in this position it's very very complicated because i have like three pawns for a bishop and the king on f1 is a little bit not safe he took take bishop c3 queen d3 check and queen e2 i took the g3 pawn as you can see 15 seconds on the clock for anish giri and this game i think was without increment so yeah queen e6 check king h8 queen f7 and now queen d3 king f2 was the mistake just queen f5 takes takes and this position we have like four pawns against bishop and it's very good chances for a win king g3 king g8 king h4 g6 and king f7 and this position i think should be losing and uh, because i'm just bringing the king as he cannot take the g6 pawn because my pawns are just running right so this is what uh, was in the game b3 just king e6 takes 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 and h4 h3 and c3 and c2 and yeah 
this game just over yeah of course Anishgiri played a little bit because you know time travel and all of this but the game was over in a checkmate so I don't know how but I managed to win Grandmaster Anishgir with the black pieces one of the best players in history it's a honor for me and you know I really respect him he's just a very good person also and wow how much talented he is so if you like this video just smash the like button and also subscribe my channel see you soon in the next video bye bye